Siren and welcome back to another video. We're back playing some more Pixelmon Dark as you guys know and the last episode we did manage to catch two more legendaries. One of them was a shiny Turekian and the other one was a Keldeo. So it was pretty lit. It was a very very lit day. Let's actually get Keldeo out here I guess for Gudra. I don't know. Um, and let's actually check them out. We never did take the time to actually look at their stats or their moves or anything. So we actually did some perfect nature in Timid. Um, and his moves, Bubble Beam, Sacred Sword, not bad, I mean, they're not bad moves. Oh, he's actually, uh, Water and Fighting, okay, that's not what I was expecting at all when I caught him, so that's pretty cool to find out. And, uh, you actually do not have the best nature in the world, but hey oh, it is alright, Terekian is still a piece, and he's shiny too, which makes him even that much cooler. Now, last episode, guys, we spent a ton of time in the Mesa, we, I feel like we saw basically every single Pokemon. Or at least every single legendary that we could. Um, I did scope around. I did not see any sort of Mesa M or Mesa Bryce. And uh, we do need to find both of those for um, uh, the, the Mesa Bryce to find Witch Mahuzi. Uh, Ho-Ho. Let's actually try to catch this Tyrant Tyrantrum because he's, he, he's, he's a pretty cool dude. I actually met him before and uh, he's pretty chill. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's like a dinosaur with a peanut brain and, and little tiny arms, but hey, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, um, Witch Mahuzi, is this gonna kill it? No, it is not. Okay, and then we go to Scyther, and we use a false swipe, and then all is good. All is good. What's going on here? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Alright, Scyther, honestly, he's, I, he's not that good. He really isn't, even though he has false, whatever. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. It's whatever. Okay, it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, we did. We still need to catch Ho-Ho and a Reggie Steel, I believe. That those are both in this biome as well. And guys, for the three legendary birds, what I'm gonna do for that is actually just give myself the orbs completely full, because and it killed itself. Uh, okay. Well, that's annoying. But it's whatever. Hey, I feel bad for him. He should. He should. He, no, he'll regret that move. In a couple years from now, he'll realize that he made a, a, a bad mistake. But uh, yeah, I mean, there are still a couple more legendaries that we have to catch in the Mesa. But in today's episode, guys, I want to be catching some awesome ice Pokemon like a bear tick. Like this dude. Like this big snow boy right here. Like, I know that this whole series is about, you know, catching all the legendary Pokemon. But uh, bear tick is pretty legendary in my book. So we're going to try to catch him, see what we can do here. Obviously, we're going to start off with... Um, Sidian, try to get him paralyzed, as as we always do, and then switch off to Scyther. Um, now, there are, as far as I can tell, uh, two legendary Pokemon that spawn in the... Uh, hmm, what do I do here? I don't want to kill it. But then if I switch to Scyther, he might die in one hit, because it's times four effective. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Let's Swords Dance. And... Watcha! There we go, 1 HP. Okay, perfect. Uh, but yeah, so there's Reggie Ice that spawns in the Ice Mountains at nighttime. And then there is also Reggie Gigas, who spawns in the Cold Taiga M. Um, and I actually, before recording, I went around the entire ice biome to see if there was a Taiga M. And unfortunately, there is not. There is Taiga Hills, Taiga, like normal Taiga, and, and Cold Taiga, whatever. There just is no Cold Taiga M, so that's kind of a shame. We're going to have to go and find another Ice Biome in order to catch a Regigigas. I actually thought for whatever reason that Regigigas spawned in the Plains. That actually makes more sense to me since he is a normal type Pokemon, but whatever. I mean, I guess he he, he can do whatever he wants. He can spawn whatever he wants. It's, it's really up to him. Uh, but yeah, in today's episode, hopefully we can catch a Regigigas Ice. And I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but we actually do have two Master Balls in our inventory that is because last episode you guys absolutely destroyed the like button once again 500 likes in under a day absolutely insane and then also i believe episode number three it was got up to 500 likes as well so that's why i have two of them but again i still am saying if we could get up to 750 likes on any video that's two um master balls right there so hopefully today guys we can catch reggie ice with an Ultra Ball, I'm hoping. I mean, he's only going to be level 40, so like, I don't know. I don't know if the level actually does make a difference, but if it does, then he should be pretty easy to catch. And I believe that level 40 is actually the uh, the lowest level legendary that there is. And there we go. He finally did capture this bear tick, and it is nighttime, so we should be able to um, go and find one of these 
Reggie Ice is fairly easily. Now again, it is in the Ice Mountains, I believe. But uh, I am sure that we actually did fi that I found some uh, earlier today. So it really shouldn't be too much of an issue finding them again. Uh, they weren't like too common, but I did find a couple. So I'm not too worried about it. And also Reggie Giga spawns at dawn or dusk. So I definitely have to keep that in mind if I, if I ever do find a... Um, which Mahuzi? A, uh, a Cold Tiger M biome. And uh, I think a Lugia might actually spawn. I mean, we are in the deep ocean here. And it's nighttime. What just spawned? Is that a Kyogre? I don't know. But guys, oh yeah, it is a Kyogre. We, we'll, we'll try to get him later on today. But um, there actually are so many ocean Pokemon. Um, it, it's actually pretty ridiculous. I believe that last episode we actually saw... I believe it's called a Manphy or something like that. I don't know. It's one of the newer... I say newer, but it's probably Generation 5, I want to say. Legendaries. Um, I think that's what it's called. And I, I'm pretty sure that we actually saw it last episode. And uh, so that's just another one of the legendaries that spawn in the ocean. But there's also Latias, Latios, Lugia, Kyogre, Manphy, I guess. Okay, so here, realistically, I mean, I'm expecting a Reggie Ice to spawn pretty soon here. Because we are now in the Ice Mountains. So this is where he should spawn. Um, and, and the rate is still pretty high for legendaries. It's not outrageous, but if we just chill here for a little bit, hopefully he does, uh, he does pop up. That, that would be ideal. Come on, buddy. Where are you at? Okay, so after a, a quite a long time for searching, I'm not really sure why they're not spawning very often, because, I mean, it's the right time of the day, I'm in the right spot, but... I don't know why they weren't spawning, but finally, guys, we do have a Reggie Ice. It is level 40, as predicted. So, uh, I'm actually going to go, hmm. Let's actually grab out Raichu here, because I I don't think a city and body slam will kill it, but there's definitely no guarantee that it will get paralyzed from it. So, uh, let's put him in for Terekian, I guess, and uh, try to get this, uh, this dude to use some sort of physical move against me, and then hopefully... Alright, well, I, I guess I'll be back when I find another one. Alright, and here we have it. Here is another Reggie Ice. His cousin decided to blow himself up and uh, and take me down in the process. But hey, it is okay. I, I forgive your family's behavior and I'm ready to move forward and, and try to make peace with you. So uh, hopefully you don't have explosion or self-destruct or whatever the other dude had. Let's see. Goes for an ancient power. Okay. Can you get paralyzed? Drowsy. Drowsy. Okay. So, I mean, I fall legendaries that know the move rest. And, and yawn. And, like, moves that heal yourself. And I thought that was annoying. But... This is way more annoying! They just kill themselves! What am I supposed to do? I legit- like, I- Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to find one that does no self-destruct. Or anything else that hurts itself, for that matter. So, let's try this one more time. Okay, so we did find a another one. They are pretty hard to find, actually. I don't know why, they, they just don't spawn too often, but... Whatever, okay, here we go. Attempt! Number three, if you use self-destruct, I think I'm going to wait another day, another time, another year to catch you because I, I can't be having this. I really don't want to be using a, ma a Master Ball on you because you're, you're uh, I mean, I don't want to offend you at all, you know, but like, you know. Okay, alrighty, let's uh, let's bail on this and let's go try to catch Lugia or something that's freaking cool and doesn't kill itself. Does it, that, I think that sounds better to me. I do see those two shiny magic carps, so yes, yes. I already have one though, so we're chilling. We're chilling. All right. But anyway, okay. Pokemon spawn in the deep ocean. Is that a Lugia or is that a? 
Pyogre. We shall find out. Aha, so it's a Latios. Not really my my favorite legendary. Um, I was I was really hoping for more of a Lugia or s sort of like a, a, a Kyogre or something along those lines. But it's okay. I, I, I will take I will take this. I, I will most certainly take this. Uh, and it is becoming day now, so Latioses should start to spawn as well. So if we could get both Latioses or the Latios twins, uh, that would be pretty neat. Can we do a little bit of... Oh yeah, trap him right there, Veltal. Good job, dude. That's some teamwork right there. All right, let's go. F okay, this dude does not mess around. This dude is not messing around whatsoever. Okay, body slam, paralyze. Come on, body slam, paralyze. Ooh, we actually have Psycho Shift. Actually, I think that that is the move that uh, like changes what status you have. And he knows recover. Do we just master ball this guy? I honestly think that we just master ball him. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. All right, let, let, let's try a little bit here. Let's try a little bit. See what we can do. If you don't catch him in like a couple throws, um, which we most likely won't, I'm just going to chuck the master ball at him because that's why. Okay, I'm just doing it now. I mean, we have two master balls. We have two. So we still get another one in today's episode. And if we can get two every single episode, that would be freaking sick. That would be freaking sick. But yeah, Latios and Latios are both really, really annoying to catch, which is why I've kind of like postponed it up until now. But just because, look at look at them, they're just freaking spawning everywhere. But because they all have recover, like they just do. And, and Psycho Shift is also, oh, is that, a, what are these things called, Aurorus? Is that what these things are called? I think that they're actually new to Pixel on Dark. What the? This thing is awesome! Check this dude out! Oh my goodness! Screw all the legendaries! Let's see if we can catch this dude! What is up, dude? How, how, how is it going, man? How is it going? You, uh, you're a really cool looking Pokemon, you know that? It's not very- Whoa! What, what type is this dude? What typing is this guy? Because Quick Attack was not very- I just assumed that he was gonna be Ice! What, is he like Ice Steel or something? I legit have no clue what type this dude is. I have absolutely no clue. Okay, so there is a Latias, as I, I predicted. Oh, we caught him first try! Okay. Oh, wait, what was his name? Aurorus? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah, Aurorus. Okay. And he is Rock and Ice. Very, very interesting. I'm not sure if he's actually any good, but he looks really cool. He looks very, very cool. So, ooh, yes. I believe that this is a Manphy. This is what I was talking about earlier. Let's see if we can go catch up to this dude. So this is another legendary. I'm not sure what level they spawn at. What's all it? Uh, let's start off with Raichu. Level 70, okay. Another one of the level 70 boys. Right. So Thunderbolt's gonna do really good damage. Let's go for Thunder Shock here though. I do want to get it paralyzed because we do have uh Hmm. I really need to find a movie learner so I can get Thunder Wave on this dude. Honestly, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Even though like that was good, like Raichu did a good job. I do need to get him paralyzed. Where did he go though? Oh no. Oh, there he is. Okay. Whew. Uh, let's actually get a city in here because his um, body slams are going to do less than that Thunderbolt, which which will give him more chances. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, what the? Oh, it's a shiny. Whoa, a shiny Latias. That is actually really lit. I would. You know what? I might even go Master Ball that dude. Hmm. Is it too? It's probably too late now. He's probably gone in the wind. But yeah, if we, we that would be really cool if we could actually get another shiny legendary. We have two right now, I think. We have Terekian and we have shiny um, Witch Mahuzi as well. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, shiny Volcanian as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can catch. Oh, it's a Fion. Who is Man? I swear, Man like something like Manfi is a thing. I don't know. I don't know what it, I've never heard of Fiona. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm assuming that we're just gonna sit here for a very long time, as we do every other episode, catching or at least attempting to catch this dude. So uh, bear with me here for a little bit, guys, because oh, another Keldeo. What is up, dude? Keldeos. I, I I don't know if they're actually that good, 
But I think that they look really, really cool. Like, just in general, they're really cool-looking Pokemon. So, I'm, I'm pretty hyped to have a Keldeo. Yes! Let's freaking go! We got another Legendary without using a Master Ball. So, that means we're probably going to be ending up getting three Legendaries in today's episode. I wonder if that Shiny Latias is still there. I'm going to go try to catch up to it if it is. Uh, but, obviously, I mean, I don't know. Now, the only issue with, like, catching not shiny Pokemon is that eventually I might find that same Pokemon. But, sh yes, it actually is still here. No way! No way! Oh, my goodness. We're gonna get a shiny Latias. This is a Latias, right? Not Latios. Okay! So, now the Latias twins are freaking done. And we got one of them shiny. I don't know what shiny Latios looks like. I mean, I, I, I was... Very, very sure that this was a Latias. I just knew that Latias' shiny was yellow. But I'm not sure what color the Latios uh, shiny is. Oh, and here's a little Auroras. I don't actually know what its name is, though. Uh, Amora. Neat. All right, die now. Haha. <laughs> wrecked. Scrub. Freaking wrecked. Uh, but yeah, okay. So that's three legendaries caught in today's episode. And uh, that's also going to be the end of it as well. Now, actually, off camera, guys, I did do a little bit of snooping around, as, as I do, because I'm a snooper. And uh, I found a, a different biome that we that we may have to explore for next episode. Uh, there are, I mean, we still do have to catch that Reggie Ice and that Reggie Gigas uh, in, in these biomes here. That Reggie Ice, there was going to be such a pain. I honestly might just get a Master Well, it's up to you guys if I get more Master Balls, but... I might have to use my next Master Ball on that dude because those those self-destruct things are just very destructive. But uh, but no, I believe that if we keep on flying this way, we will bump into a biome that is a pretty special biome for legendary Pokemon. One, ooh, woohoo, an Avalug! But actually, let's try to catch this dude because he is also new. I believe that he just came out in Pixelmon Dark as well. So, this is this is pretty lit, guys. This is pretty freaking lit. Avalug, he's so freaking cool looking. I don't know if he's actually any good, but I just like him because he looks cool. I'm going to be honest here. That is the only reason that I like him. He's a very, very cool looking dude. So, let's, uh, let's get a false swipe in. And that barely did any damage. Okay, there we go. One HP and a dream. I definitely do need to find an old man though that that can teach me some cool moves. Be well, for really, just really, just for Raichu's sake. Um, hopefully, this dude isn't too hard to catch. But I believe the bottom that I'm looking for is right around the right corner, there. so we should be able to uh, find it right after we catch this dude. And there we go, we captured an Avalog. So that's, I believe, four catches or maybe five catches on the day today. No, six actually. We caught six Pokemon today, guys. That is insane. Give us a round of applause. Round of a freaking applause. That is some good stuff. What is this thing, though? What in the world? What is this? Oh. Okay, it just messed up snow. I don't know why it looks like that. For whatever reason, the chunks are glitching out over here. Oh, but yeah, we caught an Avalug. We caught an Aurorus. We caught a Bear Tick. We caught a Latias. A Shiny Latios. Oh, no, a Shiny Latias, and a Latios, and a Fion. So that's pretty cool. And here's the biome, ladies and gentlemen, that I was talking about. It is a jungle biome, and there is one Pokemon in particular that spawns in here, and it is lit. His name, or her name, starts with M, ends in W, and the middle is an E. If you can put all that together, you will know what is to come for next episode. So be sure to stay tuned, guys, because we're going to have a pretty lit battle next episode, hopefully at least. And then to get his uh, his next form, we have to get a cloning machine. So hopefully we can do all that next episode. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash the like button so that I can get more Master Balls. Uh, but yeah, that has been it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.